mercy, your favor upon my life. I am in your presence. Give me the grace to remain in your presence by your word and your spirit. In Jesus Christ's name. Amen. Shall we clap for Jesus? You may be seated. Ephesians chapter 3, verse 16. The book of Ephesians chapter 3, verse 16. I'm just laying a foundation for this message once again. And this message must go direct to your heart. That is the only place where you can keep the word of God. You cannot keep the word of God with your mouth or your mind, what you call, you memorize. No, no, no. The word of God must be settled inside your heart. Verse 16. I pray that out of his gracious riches, he may strengthen you with power through his spirit in your inner being. Your inner being. Verse 17. So that Christ may dwell in your hearts through faith. And I pray that you being rooted and established in love may have power together with all the Lord's holy people to grasp how wide and long and high and deep is the love of Christ. And to, to know this, I mean, and to know this love that surpasses knowledge that you may have been filled to the measure of all the fullness of God. Praise the Lord. I pray that out of his gracious riches, he may strengthen you with the power through his spirit in your inner being. I talked about this. Being a child of God, it is not enough for you to say you are a child of God without the power of God. There are so many things that you know keep on disturbing this body. As long as you are weak inside, you may not overcome those challenges and your enemy will take advantage of that situation to bring you down. At the end of the day, you will not be saved. It is not enough people of God to say, you are a pastor, an elder, a leader, a believer, with our mouth, without his power in our inner being. What controls your outside body? Or what gives energy and the beauty of your physical body? It is the food you are putting inside your stomach. It is the same food that will give you energy as a human being. What can give you that spiritual strength is the Holy Spirit inside your body. That is in your heart. There are so many temptations here on earth. No one can stand or withstand this temptation without the Holy Spirit in you. I mean the power of God inside you. That is the only secret of your victory. Without the power of God in you, anything can bring you down. People of God, when you are sleeping, you are half dead. You don't know what you are doing. You don't know what you are doing when you are sleeping. It is only your conscience who will be at work through your heart. And if your heart is not connected to the Holy Spirit, even if you are breathing in and out, you are a dead person. 
I can remember very well sometimes when you are going through these attacks in the dream. You hear the Holy Spirit telling you to say, can you withdraw from this sleeping, go back to the flesh. Talking to you as if you are talking to a human being. The Spirit of God will tell you to say, withdraw from where you are, go back to the flesh. If you know the Spirit of God is not in you, who is going to remind you about the danger that you are going through when you are sleeping? Who is going to tell you that this is not your friend, this is not your husband, this is not your wife? It is a snake wearing the image of the person that you know. Who is going to remind you that? Who is going to tell you that this is not your grandfather? It is the ancestral wearing the image of your grandfather if the spirit of God is not in you. How do you know that you are a child of God without the Holy Spirit? I'm afraid, personally, whenever I sit down and I, you know, I'm praying, I always think about this. It is not easy, people of God, to know that this is Satan who is coming to you or talking to you or giving you money or giving you food if the Spirit of God is not in you. To strengthen your inner being, meaning to give you the awareness about the danger of this life and what you are putting in your body, what you are receiving, what you are doing. Everything that you are doing must be checked and examined through your inner being. That is the Holy Spirit in you. How many people who are regretting today, whether in marriage, in business, the money that you are counting, the money is, is no longer there. The marriage that we are yearning for, crying for, you can't even, you know, if you hear someone talking about marriage, you feel like slapping that person. You just enter that situation without that awareness. Instead of enjoying that life, you are complaining. People of God, this is the message I want to put inside your heart. By the grace of God, if you are willing. The Bible that we carry everywhere, anyone can carry the Bible. There is no need for you to have a certificate for you to carry the Bible. No. Anyone can carry the Bible. Anyone can quote the Bible. But it is not anyone who can carry the Bible in the spirit and in truth. Or who can quote the scripture in spirit and in truth. Unless if the spirit of God is in you. You always speak the mind of God. Praise the Lord. I pray that out of his gracious riches, he may strengthen you with power through his spirit in your inner being. Let me take uh, verse 17. So that Christ may dwell in your hearts through faith. I pray that being rooted and established in love, when the spirit of God comes upon your life, Christ himself will dwell in your heart. It is very, you know, difficult to understand this because of the foundation. Foundation is what can make every building to be very strong. As long as the foundation was not properly done, even the building which will be put there will not be a good building. It will be full of cracks. Our confession is full of what? Cracks. No argument about that one. When we reach there in heaven, heaven will be the one to confirm who was a child of God and who was not a child of God. This is why spiritual people are disciplined people. They are content with what they are doing. They don't move by what they see or hear. No. Because their inner being is being strengthened by God Almighty. There's no need for them to be misled by the situation. No. You are more 
of what you are getting from your father than what you are hearing from your people around you. Spiritual people are what? Disciplined people. They know what they are doing. They know that heaven is their home. But without the Holy Spirit in you, you don't know what you are doing. Anything outside your body can bring you down. It is my prayer that as it is written, let it be so in your life. Allow Jesus to not to dwell in your heart for the salvation of your soul. You cannot understand anything here on earth with this mind. Whatever you see, whatever you hear can mislead you. But if the spirit of God is in you, nothing and nothing that can mislead you because you are being strengthened by someone who is higher and greater than anyone here on earth, even beyond the earth. Let the grace of God and the mess of God locate your heart and let his word be in your heart today and forevermore so that you understand each and every stage in your life. What can destroy you as a human being? It is evil spirit. And what can save you as a human being is Holy Spirit. History of the Bible cannot save you. Remember at the time of our Lord and Savior here on earth, all the Pharisees, the teachers of the law were according the same Bible against Jesus, who is the owner of the Bible. Meaning something was missing inside their inner being. If the spirit of God was in them, I'm sure you can agree with me that this was supposed to be the first people to know that this is our Messiah. He has come to fulfill what is written in the Bible. But because something was missing in their inner being, they were just busy cutting the record outside. Hey, Moses said, Moses said, Jesus said, <laughs> I'm telling you, Take it serious and take it, you know, personal as a child of God. They were according the Bible against the owner of the Bible. Why? Their inner being was weak. There was nothing inside them. Apart from the respect they were getting from the masses. Because these people were leaders of the church. Where are you standing? Are you standing on the truth or on the record? Anyone can talk about the record. We have seen leaders of this world, when they are getting, you know, being appointed in higher positions, they will carry the Bible and confess what they are not inside their heart. It doesn't mean that what they are saying is there inside them. They are just following the program. It is the record which has been there for years and years. I pray that the grace and the mercy of God will locate your heart. In Jesus' name.